We were out to find websites on the brink of technology failure and turn them into something awesome. Three reasons why you should update your web design layouts. Hello, I'm David Grubb from Shepherd's Loft and I want to help you design a better website. In today's episode, I'm going to tell you about those three reasons. Uh, number one is that you want to be able to make your web pages more readable by changing the web design layout. You also want to be able to communicate better. And third, you want better search engine optimization. So let's explain these three and then I'll show you some specific examples. Number one, readability. Uh, the readability has to do with also making things attractive to read. Uh, the more paragraphs that you can uh, the, that you can make or the more you can break big blocks of text into paragraphs it makes it more readable uh, when things are more readable people are more likely to read them it's pretty simple communications uh, you want to be able to relay your message uh, easily so both breaking up into paragraphs but also adding, adding images or videos into your content allows you to kind of build a layout instead of just having straight text on the page and the third point is your search engine optimization. Number one and two both contribute to search engine optimization. Having fewer words per sentences, fewer sentences per paragraph, and having more alternate type of content in your web page like videos and images, which can also be optimized, you're adding to the content that's already there. So you're making what's there better and you're also adding to the content. So these are three great reasons why you should update your web design layouts. Now, let me, let's me let dive in and let me show you some examples of what I'm talking about. What you see here is the homepage for the website that we just went through and we updated the layouts on about four or five pages. And so I'm gonna quickly go through and kind of point out the, the things uh, that were we saw as an issue that we wanted to make better. Uh, first of all, here on this home page, you can see that there's a big, huge block of text under the the date 1999. So all of this big t all of this is in one is in one paragraph, and so that's not very attractive to read. And Google looks at that as you know it doesn't look at it as being friendly. Um, also, you know we are in an age where we actually want to reduce the number of distractions when we're reading a web page. Uh, one of the most difficult things I, I deal with is when I'm, I'm trying to Google something and I'm looking for an answer. And I understand that people make money on, you know, blogging and inserting their Google ads. But sometimes I can't even follow the article because there's so many uh, ads placed inside the content. And it's done that, by, that way by design but it's really distracting and really difficult for me to be able to read. So in this example, we also have a sidebar on the right side, and there's a lot of great information in the sidebar. However, it's distracting from the main content, which in this case is all in one big block. So we wanna eliminate the sidebar, we wanna open this up, we wanna make that content more readable. Uh, other items, you know, everything else on the page is pretty straightforward. Uh, all the, the listings here and the lots, and then we've got a nice accordion down here. Well, we have a video, but the video is linked to a different page, and there's a list of videos here, and this is an accordion, the seller's video, and that can open up, and all of that looks great. Over here on the right side, we've got a big blank empty space, which is not horrible, but it's also, it kind of just looks vacant, like it was unintentional. And that's another one of the challenges with sidebars is you put so much information in it, it's distracting. And then also it leaves you with a big blank spot on the bottom right of the corner of the page. Okay. Uh, the rest of the page looks good. There's some community information. There's more FAQs and then the footer. Uh, so let's take a look at the new page, the new home page that we worked on. So here we go. You can immediately, you can see that the sidebar is gone. Now we're focused in on your North Georgia real estate expert, this content right here in the middle of the page. And if I was looking for a property to search, the search bar is right here. So the button is very clear. And now my text and my content is very prevalent. 
and you can see that we've broken these paragraphs up now there's three paragraphs here with a picture on the side we've so we've added new content here with the picture and it even links that gives us more search engine optimization again more paragraphs are broken out more pictures and also the background color we changed to a light blue um, so that it wouldn't conflict with the next section uh, which is the actual listings and uh, we're using a third party function here and it automatically makes all these little little borders and things and some of it is transparent and it really doesn't look good on any other color background so we wanted to make this white uh, and we wanted to separate it from the content above so we were able to switch those background colors and then down here here's the video that was there before it links to a different page and now here are the testimonials and you can see that we've added these and these look great they're in three columns they're all short so we don't have a, too much negative space just enough so it's very readable here's the FAQs and then also a section and you can see the, the slider pop up at the bottom to join the newsletter. So you can see how the layout of this page has drastically changed. And now it's a lot more attractive and readable. So let's look at another page here. Uh, so the next page is our listings page. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit so I can go through these. Uh, not a lot here. Again, removing the sidebar. There's a big paragraph in the in the top here of the featured listing and then the uh, the regular listings and then the just sold again big huge block of text we want to break that up if we can uh, so let's take a look at uh, the modified page so you can see here with the featured listing that we broke up the paragraphs it's now in two columns uh, which is makes it each line in each sentence more readable but it also makes it more attractive to read and it's actually a different listing as well and then the listings are fine and then just sold we were able to break this up uh, we probably could go a little bit further we still have a big huge paragraph over here uh, maybe there's a bullet list that we can create so it's it's because it's a, a long list of things so maybe what we can do is actually break that into bullet list and that would make it more readable um, but you can see how the layout of the page has changed enough with the sidebar going get down away and having multiple columns. It's a lot more readable now. So let's look at, uh, let's keep going. Here's our third page here. And this one is the about page. And the about page has three sections in it. That's why you see these little blue bars on the screenshots. Uh, there's the about information, which has a huge uh, block up here. Sidebar again. Uh, and then the testimonials here are all stacked on top of each other. And then we have this C on the right side below the sidebar. We just have empty space, empty space, empty space. And then we have the contact form and the uh, and a map to the to the location of the office. So let's look at the new page. Here's the new page. We add another photo of the real estate agent on the left. We broke all those paragraphs up into, as you can see there, it's three paragraphs there, two paragraphs down here with another photo that links to a video, uh, then the testimonials. This is actually a YouTube bet embed, and that, and that text is in the video. So we couldn't edit that. But here are the testimonials. It's in three columns. It's using a masonry style. Stacking just looks fabulous. And as you scroll down the page, we even added... Uh, some excerpts from the blog into a little slider so you can click through and you can look at some of the uh, newsletters that she sent out and then at the bottom we've made the contact form two columns and the map is on the right side and so this is again you can see how a lot more friendly and user friendly and easy this is to read all right two more pages to look at uh, this page is the is the community info page uh, we have this little uh, set of links over on the side and it's it's just kind of sticking over it's kind of floating over there and so it kind of need, needed some help uh, the videos and then down below this video is actually the, the full transcription there was a lot of great information 
but as you can see it's spanning all the way across the page from left to right and that's not very readable it is broken into paragraphs which is great we just need to get it into two columns so that it would be easier to to read and better to look at and then there's a video and then the other bar at the bottom so let's go to the community page and we move this up to the main navigation because we felt like this was a very important page if somebody's looking for real estate in blue ridge then they, then they want to be able to go look and see what the community information is uh, so you can see on the right we put this uh, the local information into a little blue box um, and that way it kind of calls that information out this is the same effect as adding a picture in there so it, it kind of blocks it out and it helps the layout as well uh, then you can see that we've stacked the videos into two columns and then the transcription of the video that's on the left is now integrated in with pictures so we've added a lot more pictures to this uh, to this web page which adds more search engine optimization and breaking it into the paragraphs it's all very much readable here we have a little bit of an overlap with the, uh, the the testimonial that was in the video so there's a transcription of that and it overlays lays with a picture a high picture of the lake um, and just going on down and this is an easy way to you know keep the content from stretching on cost just you know minimize the or, or allow for greater margins on the right or 11 or left if you don't have enough uh, pictures to substitute in and so you can see all the way down the page we have nice uh, subtitles and alternating content there's plenty of white space everything's very readable and scannable you know you can go right to the thing that you want to read about or you can watch the video okay one more page to look at and this was the resource page and in this one we were missing that little blue bar and just to make it consistent with the other pages we wanted to add that in uh, to add in that little bar so that you so that it would look consistent and also you could navigate this page uh, the resources has a list of vendors and an accordion which is already done really well into three columns and that keeps uh, again makes it makes it more readable and then some little things on the on the bottom here there was a download but it wasn't a button uh, it's just this text that's hovering over underneath the photo um, the paragraphs look pretty good so just some minor adjustments on this page so let's go look at those adjustments so here's the resource page here's the blue bar that we add in and it's a sticky menu so when you scroll down it sticks to the top here's the list of the vendors which is all in good shape and the lenders information and then the bottom part here as the picture fades in now you can see that there's a button on the bottom left to download this brochure so just some minor changes but again making these types of changes updating your your layout gives you better communication, better readability, and better search engine results. Hey, so this is David Grubb from Shepherd's Loft, and I want to help you design a better website.